everyone, thank you for joining me again. For today's video, I'm going to be making my gingerbread land. The soap I'm making today is a part of a collaboration of YouTube soapers, about 80 of us all together around the world. Um, the theme is Wonderland. So the requirements for this collaboration is that you have to include a, some form of milk. I've chosen coconut milk and I've already added it into my oils and butters. Um, the other requirements are that there has to be the color white and there has to be some type of sparkle, be it glitter or like a mica line. So I'm gonna do, my white will be the frosting, the snow and the trims of the houses. Um, and then I will be adding glitter as usual. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my lye water solution to my oils and butter and coconut milk. And I'll just go ahead and get that blended. And now I'm going to add my fragrance oil. It's a custom gingerbread scent that I created. This fragrance oil that I blended does have vanillin in it, which will turn the soap brown. But for the houses and the ground, they're gonna be brown anyway, so I'm not worried about it. I won't be adding any of the fragrance oil to the white for the icing. That way I don't have to worry about it turning brown. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add this brown. This is a mixture of two micas from Micas and More. One is called Satin Mica and the other is called Copper Mica, I believe. Let me check that. Yes, that's correct. Satin Mica and Copper Mica. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. I'm looking at this and I'm trying to decide whether I want to add a little more of the satin mica to make it a little darker. But like I said, the vanillin in the fragrance oil is gonna make it a little darker. So yeah, I won't add any more. All right, so let me go ahead and get my molds over here. I'm just going to, hopefully that's in frame. Let's see, turn it this way. I'm just gonna fill up like a third of this mold. Cause like I said, this is just gonna be the ground. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm gonna add some white icing on top of these and then put the house on top of that. I'll go ahead and tap that down and put it aside. I'm just 
do the next one. Okay, so here's the mold that has these little cute little gingerbread houses. I hope they have enough batter for all six of these. If not, it'll just be four. Okay, so it looks like I'm only going to be able to make four houses, so I'm going to actually steal from one of the um, other molds to do the other two houses. I thought this would be plenty, but obviously I was wrong. Okay, um, like I said, I'm going to steal from another, from one of the other molds so that I can fill up at least two more houses. Okay, so I'll let the batter set up um, for about 12 to 18 hours, and then I will uh, come back and show you how I frost and decorate the gingerbread man. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be making the frosting for my gingerbread land soap. And um, I've already got my oils and butters and coconut milk in here. And now I'm just gonna add my lye water solution. And then I'm going to blend that on low. I'll burp it to get the air bubbles out. And because this is just going to be a frosting, I do want it to thicken up, so I'm going to blend it a lot so that it sets up quickly. Okay. Um, I know once I add the titanium dioxide, it's definitely going to thicken up. And I may have to let it sit for 15, 20 minutes uh, to get it to the right consistency. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my titanium dioxide. Okay, so I have my titanium dioxide in here mixed with a little bit of my liquid oils. And I'll go ahead and add that. All right, so this is still pretty runny, so I gotta let it set up um, longer. Like I said, I'll probably let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes so that it can thicken up more, and then I can come back and start frosting and decorating the gingerbread land soap. Okay, so I think this is set up enough for me to go ahead and frost the foundation. And I'm going to just kind of pile it on here. It's supposed to mimic snow. I'm not trying to spread it out perfectly because again, it's supposed to mimic snow. But I just need something um, to adhere the houses to the foundation. guys I'm just kind of winging this this was just I couldn't think of anything to do until the very last minute I came up with gingerbread land only because I had I already had the mold that I bought about a year ago for the houses and I had not used them um, I also had a mold for some little gingerbread men that I had not used and um, I purchased off of Amazon a mold for some little gum, gumdrops. Um, so the, the gingerbread men, the gumdrops, and I also have some Christmas trees and candy canes. Those will be the embeds to decorate everything. Now, like I said, I'm just winging this. I don't know really what I'm doing, but hopefully it turns out all right. I 
I really wanted a bigger surface to put the houses on, but I didn't really want to spend money buying a lot of different um, silicone molds, so I just shopped my stash and went with what I have already. I think I'm going to add a little more snow to cover up the edges and corners. I'm still waiting for this to thicken up a little bit more so that I can pipe some white along the rooftop and maybe on the sides. Um, and then I'll start adding the embeds and glitter. All right, so I've already filled my piping bag and I'm gonna go ahead and check this to see if it is ready. Now, I've never piped anything before, so we'll see how this goes. I'm also using a piping bag from the Dollar Tree and um, you know they say you get what you pay for, so. But it should work. A lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree is really good quality. I actually did attempt to pipe something once before and the bag burst on me the very second that I squeezed it. So I guess I squeezed too hard. So I'm trying to be very gentle with it. All right, let's give this a shot. I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. And I think I want to try to go down. Oops. Oops. I already squeezed too hard and it's coming out of the side. No. Let's see if I can just do a little more. Since this now has a hole at the top um, and it's spilling out, I put it in a ziplock to catch the overflow, but still allow me to pipe. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna be covering that with gumdrops anyways, um, so I'm not so worried that it's kinda sloppy. drops that I made um, and again I got the mold for this off of Amazon okay so I'll set these aside for now and start adding some gingerbread men outside playing in the snow Yeah, I should have made this foundation a little bigger so I could have more room to work with as far as sticking on embeds. I have some candy canes and Christmas trees. Maybe I'll just put one tree. I, my intentions was to paint the stripes red or green, um, but I didn't get to that, so let's see, where can this guy go? Next to the tree, I guess.
Nah, I don't like it there. So I'm gonna just I think that's all I'm gonna do because I don't have enough room. I also thought about taking some mica and painting the doors and the windows. But mm, mm, that might be doing too much. guys kind of get the idea <laughs> so the plan was it, uh, to cut this in half and these are not for sale these are going to just be gifts uh, well they were going to be gifts but I'm not loving the way it turned out so I might just keep it for myself um, I do have another one to do but I'm going to do that one off camera um, yeah so this is my gingerbread land for now. So I almost completely forgot to spritz this with rubbing alcohol uh, to prevent soda ash and to add glitter. All right, so I've spritzed that with some rubbing alcohol. Now let me grab my glitter. And I'm just going to sprinkle this uh, Frost Brilliance glitter from Micah's and More. Um, everywhere. I also have some um, red and green glitter that I'm going to add. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. And like I said, I am going to cut the soap in half. So each house will have, oh, well, no. This house will have a tree, a gingerbread man, and a candy cane. This house will just have a gingerbread man, a candy cane, but it has extra gumdrops on it. A lot of people choose not to use their artisan soaps. They use it just for decoration. Um, so this could be a cute Christmas decoration in the bathroom. All right, I'm gonna attempt to lift this up to give you a close-up view. Um, without knocking everything off. Hopefully you can see that. Gingerbread land. If my foundation was bigger, I could have fit all four houses on and this would have looked like a cute little gingerbread neighborhood. Um, but it's still cute. Please make sure you check out the other videos for the other YouTubers. Um, everyone has done some amazing jobs and I'm so happy and honored to be a part of this YouTube soaping community. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, please make sure you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you are notified when I upload new videos. Thank you and be blessed.